I'm Sedina Capanelli. I'm, <laughs> I'm the co-founder of Age Nation, and I'm an enlivened aging and wellness consultant, and uh, an author, and I'm very, very grateful to be here, and really so honored that you asked me to be part of this. I'm really touched right now by everybody's reading. I want to say it's a question that just really kind of took me back. Like, how do you pray, you know? I instantly wanted to be a part of it, but I needed to think. And um, when I was two, I, I was born Jewish, and when I was two, my mother converted to Catholicism. She had a, uh, an evening with my, my godmother-to-be, and she had an epiphany, she used to say. And so I became Catholic at two although my Jewish relatives will tell you I'm Jewish, because <laughs> my mother was Jewish. Um, but it was a lovely thing to be born that way, to be raised, I'm the oldest of eight children, to be raised in this two amazing traditions. And like you, Celeste, I love the saints. I was, you know, I was gonna be a nun. I just, since I was a very little girl, I had a, a deep relationship with spirit. And then um, interspiritual, I love that. Um, I have my own interspiritual path now that's just sort of, I've taken what I've liked as I've experienced along the way and I've kind of left the rest and now I have my own and, and I'm thrilled with it and it keeps growing and it's a beautiful thing. I also want to say that I think th uh, I said it at the first reading. I believe this book is one of the tools in our world today, really a powerful tool, to change the world and to bring peace and harmony into our world. I mean, this question is so pivotal, you know, it can be very pivotal in people's lives. So thanks for listening and following your calling. You're an example to everybody to do that. Okay, so when I, when I wanted to be a nun in high school, I prayed f feverishly for guidance, happiness, connection with God, and the well-being of my mom, dad, and brothers and sisters. Now my prayers are not so much requests for anything, so much as they are decrees that all is well and in divine order and flow. I no longer pray for a divine connection, I now give thanks for the divine partnership I share. My responsibility in that partnership is to take the best care of myself and let Great Spirit do the rest. That's my part, to make sure I'm healthy, balanced, clear, loving, compassionate with myself and with others. When I'm challenged in, in any way, I remind myself of this commitment. I confirm that all is well, and trust that everything is in divine flow, and that I am a part of this flow as long as I am willing to trust it unconditionally and do my part. I don't add the condition of having to have my life circumstances turn out a certain way. I do pray that my gifts and talents be used in service for the highest and best for everyone I encounter. And I pray for peace, abundance, wholeness, and love for all beings everywhere. Most of the time, my prayer is giving thanks for the fullness of divine supply as I allow my heart and every cell of my being to be filled with gratitude. I breathe this gratefulness in and out of my heart, feeling love and the fullness of all good things. And then I send that love from my heart out into the world.